Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 16th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving away space weather update, as well as world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Of course, I did update you earlier today on that large flare event on the backside of our sun. This was a full halo CME, so we will definitely see some action heading towards us within the next 36 to 48 hours. Amazing images today as our very, very powerful sun is going through solar cycle 25 and it is already ramping up and succeeding the numbers that NASA had expected, a heightened sunspot number. We are already well above the forecasted sunspot numbers. Looking at the last 48 hours, Incoming on our sun, we do have some more sunspots as well. Plasma filament eruptions from the northwest and the southeast regions of the sun. And to poet effect. Looking at 191 angstroms here, you can really see the cosmic energy on the surface of the sun. And as well, our heliosphere being affected. Right now, we are experiencing a slightly elevated geomagnetic event, and that is from the last CME that was projected towards us. And a quick look at 171 angstroms, where we can see those dark regions are the coronal holes, and they are turning now into an Earth-facing position. So not much has changed since the last update early today. A quick video I shared with everybody. Please share that video with your friends and family from around the world. Maybe even hashtag Elon Musk so that he can, can keep track of these space weather events. Solar X-ray flux showing just recently a C-class, minor C-class flare. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Having a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight. Looks like you will see northern lights through northern ontario manitoba and saskatchewan tonight and overnight across northern europe and russia having a look at our real-time solar wind we're sitting at about 382 kilometers per second and that's been pretty steady just under 400 kilometers per second, but watching the density here jump up quite a bit, and I'm sure that will over the next 48 hours. Schumann resonance for today, a power of five, still a healthy low power. I'm sure but we will see that change over the next little bit. Quality of an 8.9. And then we get to earthquakes, as we did have that large 6.8 earthquake south of the Fiji Islands, 535 kilometer depth though, very large earthquake as well uh, 4.9 there reported and as well a 5.0 north of Tonga Vanuatu seeing a 4.6 as well a 4.5 there Papua New Guinea yesterday minor activity Philippines Nicobar Islands India region 4.7 as well a couple earthquakes there Iran into the Arabian plate 4.2 here reported in Greece, 27 kilometer depth, followed by a 4.3. As well, 4.8 earthquake here off the coast of Portugal. 5.0 here to report central mid-Atlantic ridge, quiet South America, only reporting the one 4.1 Erica. As well, South Sandwich Islands seeing a 5.5, 35 kilometer depth. So very busy planet for earthquakes. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and it started off the day here with a large 6.2 in Guatemala, 83 kilometer depth. Many, if not hundreds of buildings were damaged with this large earthquake and as well already reporting three people had perished. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Looking across California, San Simeon, a 3.4 earthquake. That is the largest report in the region. No swarms to talk about. Hawaii, not much has changed there either in the summit. Minor activity through Alaska. 
And that is the past 24 hours for earthquakes across the world. Have a quick look at the last seven days for rumblers across the planet. Now let's have a look at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and as well satellite imagery across the world. Starting out here with the most recent Simaru in Indonesia. As well Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Senge in Ecuador. Eoba in Vanuatu. Sabancaya in Peru. Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia. Fuego, Guatemala. Reventador in Ecuador. And as well, Ibu, Indonesia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today. Not reporting here was the Ambram volcano, which produced quite a large pyroclastic cloud, stretching about 15,000 feet in the air. Having a look at satellite imagery across the, across the world right now, still some pretty sizable low pressure systems in both the North Atlantic and North Pacific. And as well, South Africa getting ready to be affected by yet another cyclone heading its way. Pretty strong system coming out of Japan right now. A lot of snow is falling. Daily evaporation rains across Indonesia into the Philippines. And here we have Tropical Cyclone 13, which is now named, or sorry, not named yet, it will be over the next couple days, and it will be a Category 4 cyclone. Heading just north of Mauritius and Reunion Island, and then to Madagascar yet again. Third cyclone in about two weeks. Let's have a look at the forecast here, brought to you by Venture Sky, and as well, daily events worldwide. Looking here at the wind gusts over the next little while, we're going to be seeing some very windy conditions through Ontario. And that is due to that large cold front heading in. We'll be smashing with the low pressure system coming out of the central United States. Friday into Saturday, you're going to watch those winds kick up even more as the low is centered right over northern Ontario. Have a look at the perceived precipitation for the next couple days. As parts of southern Ontario are going to be experiencing this long line of storms, rain on the south side and snow on the north. Heavy rains, watch for flood alerts across the Grand River uh, Basin through southern Ontario. And then watch as this Alberta Clipper comes racing through over the weekend and then heading in to Ontario Sunday into Monday. So we will see at least another 10 to 15 centimeters after a possible 20 through Ontario. Other than that, mostly dry across the West. Having a look here, pretty big system heading into the United Kingdom. And there will be some extreme winds and as well high surf through the northern parts of Ireland and as well the United Kingdom. Looking at possible 130 kilometer per hour winds with that large low through the racing through the Atlantic. As well, having a look here at the forecast from the tropical cyclone, still not named yet. But it looks like by the time it hits north of Reunion and Mauritius, it will be a Category 2, ramping up to, to a Category 3 or 4 by the time it hits Madagascar. Looking across Africa, daily evaporation rains to continue through South Africa. And then Madagascar, you will be seeing yet another cyclone heading into southern parts, and that will be 
Tuesday into Wednesday. So thoughts and prayers going out to all the people throughout Madagascar and as well parts of South Africa. You've got heavy rains and cyclones affecting you the last little while. Much love and stay aware and prepared. I appreciate you all tuning in to the Daily Do, giving you a quick look at weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, our sun today. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.